Welcome to another episode of the Egg Gun Leshy channel. Today, we're going full send with the Leshy 2 and 762 using a new pellet that, eh, let's just say, it hits kind of different. In this video, I'll be using my new Leshy 2 in 762, uh, or more commonly referred to in the air pew pew world as 30 cal. Uh, I get questions all the time about my setup, so here you go. This is the 250 millimeter Leshy 2. It folds at the breech to about 14, 16 inches, depending on your choice of quieting devices, which in this case is the Mod 30 from Huma. Uh, on top, I've got the US Optics TS-20X, uh, amazing scope. It's slightly larger uh, for this small of a frame, but it films so well with the Eagle Vision GoPro mount that I'm cool with it being slightly large. Uh, I've got the medium aluminum handguard with a Magpul sling mount. Uh, generally, I have this just sitting on a tripod, so it's naked underneath, minus the uh, Swiss Arca mount. Uh, this is my daytime filmer at the moment, so uh, no need for lights or anything else. Uh, I've chosen the larger carbon fiber bottle option on this setup as well, which basically doubles the shot count. The JSB Hades is a hit or miss pellet for a lot of barrels, so I snagged just a tin from Pyramid Air before I bought a bunch, which I've done in the past and made that mistake. Uh, but anyways, happy to be the tester for fellow Leshy 2 folks. Yep, I think these are gonna work just fine. They were just absolutely destroying these squirrels. The Table for One Yeti mug has been taking a beating, but I gotta say, it's a pretty sweet addition to the 3.0 setup. So speaking of which, uh, if you're a fan of the channel, I dropped the official merch just a few weeks ago. So I'll throw a link in the description for the Series 1 designs. I super appreciate everyone who's uh, snagged one thus far. In the Table for One 4.0 design, I'll better incorporate the mug, but for now, this piece of leather is holding up actually pretty well, but wait until you see what this backyard bully tried to do to it. The lighting was just absolutely perfect on this one. Uh, I had the Eagle Vision scope cam mount dialed in really well with the US Optics TS-20. Sorry about that, I had to blur out that red paint. Uh, it was taking forever to dry. Hey guys, uh, just a quick reminder on the new giveaway, or I guess if you missed the previous video, uh, this is more of an announcement for you. Uh, reaching 100,000 subs was a huge milestone for this channel, and the partners of the Egg Unleshy channel have stepped up to help us celebrate and give back to you guys. So I'll throw a link at the top of the description and go get yourself signed up. There's some amazing prizes from these companies uh, that I will start showcasing over the coming weeks once we get started picking winners, including a Leshy Classic. So uh, the only thing you have to do is fill out a contest form, some basic contact information, and follow a few Instagram pages. I've seen a few of you complaining about that, by the way, but listen, 
I had to pick a platform to support these great partners. And Instagram is the only one where you can actually create a private account, if that's what your concern is. And I can still verify you're following the required pages if you're one of the lucky winners. So hopefully you guys understand now. And trust me when I tell you, following a few Instagram pages is worth it. Look at what Utah Air Guns is adding to the mix. My name is Travis Patton and here at Utah Air Guns, we're proud to be supporting partners of the Ed Gun Leshy YouTube channel. So they have reached 100,000 subscribers, a little bit of help from us. And to celebrate this, we're going to be giving away a Talon P carbine, just like this one. 25 cal up to 50 foot pounds of incredible gun. There's lots of other giveaways that are gonna be taking place. So head over to edgunleshy.com and head over to the Ed Gun Leshy channel also on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks to Justin and the guys over at Utah Air Guns for adding the Talon P to the mix. This is shaping up to be an epic giveaway, but it's all because of you guys. So thanks again for helping me get to 100K. But let's not stop there. Out of the, it was about a million views in March, only 20% came from people who've subscribed to this channel. So if that's you, do me a favor. Hit the like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Let me know that you joined the party so I can give you a shout out. All right, let's get back to it. One of the things about the Hades is it makes a super loud impact. Uh, the squirrels are just like imploding. It sounds like I popped a football. Um, and it's going to be crazy when the chipmunks come out, though. Things are just going to explode, physically explode. I'm getting a ton of questions about the tripod setup uh, in the comments of past videos. So I threw some of the links to the parts that you'll need uh, to get it in the description, but I'll do a full rundown in more detail in an upcoming video. This is actually one of their new favorite spots, kind of perched above the table for one. Who cares about that though? Watch the energy dump on this guy. go walk out and retrieve this guy every time I pass this little chair couch thing it's a little reminder of why I need to keep my foot on the gas with these guys you give them an inch and they're gonna eat your couch bastards this is another crazy energy dump you can actually see the wave from its forehead right out its tail the Hades just hits different Here's a good example of what I was occasionally seeing. I'd say, well, I don't know, one or two out of 25 or so would just be a bit of a flyer. I don't shoot paper too much, uh, and this still is lights out, so good enough for me. I kind of look at it as like a, a pesting zero. When I was looking through the uh, through the scope at this, I thought I was gonna have like the perfect one. Uh, just the coat was beautiful, but as soon as I got down there and retrieved it, it was gross. It was like all mangy on the side. It was kind of nasty. The Dirty Thirty has been a heavy hitter on the squirrels of late, but my new 22 has been doing work at night. Uh, one of my favorite things about the Leshy Two is the old double tap. I'm gonna slow this one down again so you can see it. 
put one right into the ear and another one right in the beak. Stay tuned though guys, backyard bullies are coming in hot and the story continues right where we left off. But this time, I got a little bully fever and things got wild. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started. Mm hmm?